Okay, friends, so today we are going to learn how to loop actions and sounds. So this is my um, current animation. When you click on the sprite, it randomizes the backdrop. It says, let's hey. dance, and it increases size by five. So if you don't like the backdrop, you can click it, click the sprite, and it will change the backdrop every few seconds. Once you like the backdrop, you can start your dance party by clicking on the green flag. Now the sprite is on a loop, so it will not stop until you hit the stop sign. And then if you click this right, it changes position and the backdrop again. Hey. So let's take a look inside and see how to um, create this code. Now in the instructions, you can see that I've put in three bullet points, three notes to let other users know how to interact with my animation. First, you can click the sprite to change the background and increase the sprite size. You can click the green flag to start the dance party and start the music, and then click the stop sign to stop dancing, just like in my verbal instructions to you during this video. All right, as you can see, I have quite a bit going on here, which may be daunting or a little intimidating, but um, it's really simple. So I'm just going to explain all of these pretty quickly. And then in a different video, I will show you exactly how to uh, create these loops. All right. So when you click the flag, you'll see it plays the sound, the song forever, right? It plays the song forever. So to create this, right? So right now, it's just the animation on a loop, okay? So let's stop that and start the sound. So we'll find our event when the flag is clicked. And you can um, pick your sound first if you want to play sound. I'm going to change this to dance magic. And before I click it into the event, before I click my sound into the event, I wanna to go to the controls option and then select forever. So this is a loop. This will make sure that the sound does not stop, okay? So I'm gonna put this inside of this little, this little mouth, um, 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 like Pac-Man, right? So now you'll notice when I click this, the sound will not stop. It'll play all the way through Dance Magic and then loop back to the beginning of Dance Magic. Okay, now I can stop that. <laughs> and I've pretty much done the same thing with the animation. To start an animation where your character or your sprite um, changes costumes, you want to jump into your costumes tab and count how many costume changes your character can make. I noticed that there were 13, but I really did not like this one where she bends down to touch her toes. I just think that's silly. So instead of 13, I only counted 12 and then I just decided not to use <laughs> this option. So I went back into my code. Um, the same thing happens when I click on the green flag. I have the forever loop from my controls tab. And in, instead of, instead of um, uh, using this, let me just edit that real quick. Instead of using the forever tab first, what I did was duplicate all of these different costume changes and then gave it a point to seconds. So one second, right? We know one second is actually a really long time in frames. Point 0.1 is just too short because that's only one tenth of a second. So I think two tenths of a second between costume changes um, has worked out perfectly for the animations that I like.
you could always change these and see what happens. Like I could change this to 0.5. And then when I click it, you'll notice that this, this one costume stays for a long time. Oh, I disconnected it from the click. Stop. Try again. See how it stays for a long time on that one? So if you like liked a specific dance move, you could actually have it extend the time by however long. I think 0.5 seconds is like just long enough. So you just need to figure out which one you like the best. Do you like the arms? Do you like this one? This one? This was silly. That one would be silly. I feel like Maybe this one. So what is this? J top L cross. That's the name. So let's find J top L cross. And we'll wait point. Let's just wait a whole second so you can really, really see it. Let's try it again. See how it stays? But it looks like a glitch. So that's why I want to make sure that all of my time frames are set exactly the same. All right, so that's how you can create a loop just by adding the forever tab. Um, I have several things happening when you click the flag all at once. So the first thing is that the character will glide for 2.4 seconds to a random position. That's why it's moving across the screen. I also have that the size and the graphics will stop. That way, if somebody clicks on the sprite, to change the size, right? Make it really big. And then it's like over the top too large, right? It's over the top too large. This way if it'll reset when you click on the green flag. So she resets to her normal 100% size and it clears the graphics. So if you wanted to, you could even add, where's that color switch? change color effect when the sprite is clicked oh, I have to do it again. i have been jamming to the same thing over and over again for so long so see how she turns green every time you touch her she turns to a different color that's this effect right here. So now if I click the flag, it'll reset. So that's just like a nice option if I wanted to just make sure that if anything else happens, you can clear the graphics. So I have a couple things happening for when the spread is clicked. The music sets and it plays. And it, this says, let's dance for five seconds. Let's dance. When the sprite is clicked, the sound starts. The costume switches hey. to the... Um, this stance where she just looks sassy and she, her size increases and then it switches it waits two seconds and switches the backdrop so just remember that these are in sequence so each of these starts right after the other right same thing for the flag when the flag is clicked i have the loop for the sound and i have the loop for the costume changes which creates the uh, illusion of an animation right kind of like a flip book so having the costume switch and then having it wait two seconds before the next costume change, right? And then having that on a loop. So it just looks like she's dancing consistently. Right? It's, it's, it's adorable. It's absolutely adorable. Um, I think that um, one thing that you should try is think about what you want to happen and then start troubleshooting um, all of these different things. So I knew I wanted a loop. So that's why I went into the control tab and I found the forever loop. You can also just have it repeat. So if you wanted the character to glide, you could have it glide and have that repeat over and over again, right? Where's the glide? Glide to a random position so we could repeat this 10 times. Let's see what that looks like. I'm just gonna 
detach this real quick so that it's so that the sound the sound I just I'm just gonna detach this so that the sound doesn't start. I just want to see the glide motion. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So this it would just glide for 10. And that's probably as long as anyone could stand it. But you could have that instead of it repeating for um, like repeating the glide 10 times. See how it stopped on its own. No one had to hit that stop button. And ha instead of having it glide 10 times, you could actually have this repeat forever, right? So that it's constantly gliding every 2.4 seconds which is kind of nice. So let's just leave that like that and see what happens here. I'm just going to drop these down because I'm, I'm trying to stay organized over here. I have all of my, <laughs> all of my green flag animations on one side and all of my sprite animations on the other. So I can just double check what's going on. All right, let's, let's test it out. <laughs> 